Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our weekend reading for May 15th, 16th, and 17th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. How are you? Well, you know, weekend readings to Bradley Valentine decks. I use my angel tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to pull just one from my Archangel Power tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay? I'm an intuitive channeler, and what that means is I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it just comes through. Um, we are still, you know, we're all working together, we're getting through this together, and we will be getting through this, okay? So just hold firm, hold faithful on that. Three cards, they kind of plopped out, so I'm going to take them. Three cards fell out of the deck. They're all face down. The first two are reversed. Strong energy for my Virgos. Here we go. First card is... The moon, Archangel Heniel. The moon is interesting energy here for you. Now, we had the full moon, 7th, 6th, 7th, 8th um, energy. So we're in the full moon to that new moon. And this is about releasing and getting rid of things. So this energy, so you know, this weekend for you, this would be really good for you to figure out what it is you don't need anymore, what it is that you want to also just kind of push away from you. Now, it could be very physical things, but it could also be very, um, it could be very spiritual. It could also be habits that you've had. It could also be what you've allowed into your life, okay? And so this is a contemplative type of energy for you. So this is, this weekend, now you, you were doing a couple of things, you know, where you were doing some, you know, some introversion, you know, introvert type of energy and then, you know, so you've had some difference. So this is, again, you were looking at things, um, you know, and being, you know, just kind of looking at things. And also, uh, you know, well, that full moon with Scorpio. And I told you that this would be, and I think this is going to go on until that Sagittarius full moon. Secrets, 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 secrets. You know, the moon, you have to remember, while, you know, we see all the different phases, we only see one side of the moon. So there's a lot of things that go on in the background while we think that there is, um, but there's things that we don't know. Now, this is also a very metaphysical type of energy for you, too. And, you know, my, my Virgos, you know, you have that spiritual connection. So this could be one of those times that you you know, you really do an introspective, and I'm also thinking of like, kind of like when, you know, when I talked about the release, like an introspective cleanse, okay, like a metaphysical cleanse, and, you know, I'm not, you know, you know, if that may, you know, cleansing the things that you don't need, cleansing some of the bad habits that you might have gotten into, um, but it's also pushing away some of the energy that has come to you. You're very, very sensitive with that outside energy. And, you know, and, and, you know, this part of this is to kind of push that away and let things, you know, just kind of send it back, send it back. Okay. Anyway, Archangel Heniel, important psychic insights, events behind the scene, release fears that hold you back. So, you know, part of that, you know, the releasing fears, my Virgos, you know, um, there's, you have so many good attributes and it's always hard when I see a Virgo that doesn't have confidence in themselves but I know that you are probably your biggest critic critic so um, part of that is you know have some faith you know reach out higher power guardian angel spirit guide voice of the universe your divine whoever that is so this weekend is a really good time for you to have that communal um, opportunity okay but it's also a time for you to, to have some stronger faith in who you are. Anyway, next card reversed. Here we go. The Ten of Water. Now, water energy is emotional, fluid. It's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Tens are transitional. And so part of this, I feel, part of this, and you, you know, my Virgos, you're not, it's, it's hard not to know everything. <laughs> It, it is hard, and it's hard for you to get these, these you know, semi-messages, 
but things are going to be moving and you know and part of it is you need to be you need to be fluid with that you need to be able to move with it okay you need to not be holding on so tightly that um at that you can't that the energy doesn't push you forward because something's coming for you my virgos in a very very positive um in a positive energy with very positive energy and you need to have to have again you need to have kind of that you know get rid of the stuff that you don't need anymore that's that release and relinquish get rid of that and then to be prepared for that flow so this weekend it's a really strong metaphysical type of energy for you Okay, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Your last card with this is the three of air. Air energy is our Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius energy, thought processes. Now, part of this, this is that, you know, that one in traditional, it's the heart with the three swords and people are like, can you pull something else? It's not what it necessarily means, okay? It's thought processes, but part of it, these are old wounds. These are old hurts. These are old behaviors. These are old, old things that you need to regret and let them go, okay? Or, you know, you need to look at it and let it go. So all of this is about, this weekend is about letting go of a lot of things and a lot of energies for you, my Virgos, so that you can transition into that more positive energy. Now, these are choices. You don't have to let go of anything. You don't have to let go of anything, but letting go is like forgiveness. Forgiveness may not help that other person, but it does help you. It does lighten up your energy too. Okay, great sadness. Take time to heal the need to forgive yourself and others or others. Okay, so this is a real, you know, yes, you've been in, you've been, you did have that contemplative or introspective or introverted type of weekend. And this looks like that one where you're going to be really looking at yourself and figuring it out. Um, you know, it's kind of like, what can I do? What, you know, again, it's a, not a blame game. It's not blame game. Do not, you know, all the experiences, all the things that you did that, you know, we all make mistakes, but it gets us to where we're at and we bring wisdom. It gives us wisdom, okay? So, you know, don't look at these things as, oh, I should have done this. You know, no. Can you redo any of it? No. Can you make different choices going forward? Yes, but this brings wisdom for you. So, yes, this is a really strong metaphysical weekend for you. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, you can, you can do things, you know, I'm not saying to just, I'm not, this is, I don't really feel like this is hermit type of energy for you, but I do feel that this is where you're just going to be, um, you know, just, this is that, it's, it's, it's meta, it's very, it's cleansing, it's cleansing energy for you. Okay, and, but you've got to be the one to let it go. Okay, next card, your last card, here we go, is the four of Ariel. Now, Ariel, your energy. It's also Taurus, Capricorn energy, solid energy. Um, it's, you know, a lot of times it has to do with something or someone you can touch. It could do something with money, money from a job. But this is also very reciprocal kind of energy. So this is kind of, again, you know, like, you know, letting go so that you can receive. Remember? So, the, you know, even, so while this is that solid type, so this would be almost like I'm going to clean up my, I'm going to clean up my garage, have a garage sale, whether we can do that or not. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get rid of things so that I can buy things. But this is also on that metaphysical aspect too. In order for you to, you know, you, you need to make room, you know, again, receive, you know, give, receive, recipro reciprocity type of energy. Okay. So when you give, you also receive, being resistant to change. So that's kind of this whole thing we're talking about. Extremes in how you save or spend money. So even with, even with this, you know, even though this is, like I said, a metaphysical type of energy here, it's letting go of things that have kept you from things, okay? So even though it's kind of cleansing, it's that that spiritual type of cleansing. It's like it, you know, there's that there is that law of attraction, and you know, putting out there. If you are in a place where you're needing something, put it out there. Put it out there and expect to receive because this is a really big my Virgos, 
I'm feeling that this is a really big, you know, metaphysical type of weekend for you. Use the energy. Use it. Okay? Okay. So, my Virgos, you know what to do with the buttons and the thumbs up. As always, my Virgos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.